Hello and welcome. Aquarister here coming to you with another video and today we're actually going to be looking at another set of armor, specifically ancient ward armor sets for tanks and or heavy armor uh, users in general. Uh, there are actually three full different sets that we're going to be looking at that you yourself can go out and farm for. Uh, they are named so it's nice to be able to pull some name stuff that once you do upgrade to 600 you get that third perk. And I actually do wear a combination of some of these different pieces just so I can get a little bit more fluctuation within the perks. So let's start off with the first one and potentially kind of the easiest one where it's a one stop shop and that is the Chartist gear. Taking a look at the first set, we have the Chartist set. So the full Chartist gear uh, does have a helmet, chest, gloves, pants, and boots. Um, I'm currently using the helmet, chest, and gloves. <clears throat> and each piece for the Chartist set, you'll receive uh, full strength, refreshing ward, ancient ward, and invigorated. Um, so I do like to wear three pieces of it just for the invigorated, refreshing ward. Um, the invigorated is kind of nice to remove the exhaust disease. We can rend all that for a tank is nice. Um, I'm taking less damage, less stam damage, all that stuff. Um, so I do like to run a decent amount in invigorated. Um, but the Chartist set, you can actually all farm right in Lazarus. So over in Reek Water, we'll look here. So here at Lazarus Instrumentality, in order to actually farm up the Chartist set, you now have to do Mutated Lazarus. Uh, in the past, you were actually able to farm up the char full Chartist set <clears throat> just by killing Chartist at the end, and then uh, he would have a chance of dropping a piece of the gear for you. Um, since the Brimstone update, they actually changed that. So now, in order to get the specific charter set, you do need to do uh, Mutated Lazarus. But honestly, an M1 Laz is really not that difficult, and you could probably spam that even you know before 600 gear score. It's not too difficult, especially if you have a group that's run it before. It does make it a bit easier. But charter set is going to be from Lazarus, specifically Mutated Laz, um, it's a really, really nice set, really good base set to have. Even if you just run only that set, nothing else, it still wouldn't be that terrible to run. Um, so Lazarus set, uh, or charges set from Lazarus instrumentality. Um, you just need to make it through charges every single time and he will have a chance of dropping that for you. So next let's take a look at one that you're going to end up spending a little bit more time in Merc guard. Um, but it is able to be farmed. All right, so the next set that we're going to be looking at is actually called the Corrupted Rage set. So this is one that I only own three pieces currently. I haven't gone out and farmed the chest and the pants yet. Um, but the helmet, the gloves, and the boots, you can actually farm over in Merc Guard. Um, so where you would be farming, we're looking at Merc Guard here, is the Tangle. So this is the Tangle right here. And you can kind of see it's outlined the area. So you want to be farming ads in this area right here. Um, so maybe get like a small group of people together and you can go out and just start clearing ads, clearing through the areas, looting and all that. Um, I have seen a couple of people on our server even set up some farms where they'll get a group of people together specifically to go and do that. Um, but yeah, you can get the, the helmet, the gloves, and the boots for the Corrupted Rage set here in Merc Guard. Um, you just have to specifically stay in this Tangle area. For the, let's see, I think it's the pants, right? For the pants, what we're looking at is Malevolence. Um, and for Malevolence, it shows like it's a pretty big list of various ads that do have a chance of dropping it, including Malevolence himself. So I would try to focus like the named the named creatures and named NPCs and stuff. And again, you could get a small group to go and farm um, some of the ads in Malevolence and just, you know, see if you can pull it. Um, but that's how you're going to get the pants for the Corrupted Rage set is right there. I personally have not gone and gotten it because there are other options for Ancient War that, in my opinion, are a little bit easier to farm. Um, so you have Malevolence for the pants, and then for the chest piece to finish out the Corrupted Rage fit, um, you're going to be going to Forecastle Drift. And for Forecastle Drift, it seems like there's at least three of the named uh, Sirens named guys that can drop it. 
Um, so that's what you're going to be looking for for a chess piece. And again, I mean, Forecastle Drift is a pretty easy one to run. Um, signed runs don't happen as often as they used to, but a group of four or five can walk through it pretty quickly. Um, so you may want to just get a group together for that. But that is the Corrupted Rage set. Um, as far as perks go, uh, all of them will have full strength, freedom, ancient warden, or refreshing. So I wouldn't run the entire full Corrupted Rage set personally because you don't really need five stacks of freedom. The five stacks of refreshing and ancient ward obviously wouldn't be bad. Um, but mixing and matching some of these ancient ward sets is kind of nice because then you get a mix of uh, various perks. Um, but let's go and take a look at the very last set of armor that actually you can uh, farm it up in Brimstone. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so the last set that we are looking at actually isn't a total set altogether, but there are five individual different Ancient War pieces that you can actually farm in Brimstone that will create a full set. Now... I own almost the entire set of the Brimstone, like, Ancient Ward set, I guess you could say. But I only wear the pants, and I'll show you why. Um, each of these from this set will have actually different perks. So the boots uh, are the bovine boots. They have full strength, Ancient Ward, Refreshing Evasion, Invigorated. And this is going to be kind of a random drop from, like, a Grave Offering or, like, a, an Elite Chest or whatever. Um, so it is kind of a random drop. I looked at my inventory, I have pulled six of them. So although it's a random drop, it seems like it drops fairly regularly. Um, so as you're doing like, maybe you're doing a golden scarab run or something like that, you actually have a pretty good chance of pulling these boots. Uh, so if you do a lot of loot runs in, in Brimstone, there, there is a chance that you've either pulled them or a good chance that you will pull them soon. So those are the boots. Um, the gauntlets are probably the hardest ones to get for most people. Um, they are full con, ancient ward, physical aversion, empowering breaker. And the only way to get these is by defeating Anpu in the Ennead uh, expedition. Uh, so that is the only way to get them. Personally, I don't think they're the best gauntlets for uh, PvE tanking. I don't think that the empowering breaker is that great. You're really not you're not attacking that many enemies uh, in in the dungeons. They're going to be blocking your attacks. So I personally don't wear the gauntlets because of that reason. But if you do want them, Enyeda is the place to go for that. Now the chest piece. Um, we're going to go over the chest and the pants together. But the chest piece first of all is going to be con strength, elemental aversion, ancient warden invigorated. A really solid chess piece and a really, really good replacement for the Chartist chess wrap if you don't have that yet. So this is a really, really easy one to farm. Um, and the reason why we're going with the pants with it is because you actually farm the pants and the chest in the same place. So that's the chess piece. The pants then have Refreshing Ward, Ancient Ward, Invigorated with full strength. These are essentially Chartist leg wraps. Um, as you can see, they are the same perks, full strength and everything. These are just a direct replacement for the Chartist legs. Um, so there's no need for you to go and do like the Chartist mutated farm or whatever in order to get the legs if you can just go and get these immediately. So with these, the, the pants and the chest piece are available right where we are. This spot right here, Colossus of whatever that is, that's where we're going. Um, and he spawns right down there right down there um he's not there right now but there is an ancient chest and then he spawned there um i usually spawn in at this shrine and then you can just jump off the top and go and farm him really really easy ancient uh ward set uh well for at least the chest and the glove or chest and pants so if you want heavy armor ancient ward pretty easy farm this is like the best spot to get your chest in your pants and then there is one more piece of armor that I have yet to pull um, that is a Brimstone Ancient Ward piece, and that is the Castrum Crown of the Goat King. Now, I have spent multiple hours farming this goat. Um, for those of you who have done the quest line, you will go to the Place of Pillars. And at the Place of Pillars, you have to go up top here, and there's actually a glyph up here. Now, where that glyph spawns is this goat. It is the Goat King. And the Goat King used to have a really, really bad spawn time of like 15 minutes. It was awful. And I spent hours trying to farm it. 
just to try to pull the helmet. I don't even need the helmet. I might start wearing it if I pull it, but I don't know. But there's a goat there that you're going to go and farm. And what you get is a obviously a heavy helm, con strength, ancient ward, refreshing ward, physical aversion. And I really like physical aversion um, for like uh, any ad or any of the ones that have the really annoying archers or anything like that, uh, the physical version actually is not that bad to have. So I would maybe consider replacing my charter's head wrap with that, but we'll have to see. But that is uh, the last piece of kind of the brimstone ancient ward set. Um, it's not too difficult to farm. The trouble is the boots you have to hope for a random drop, the gloves you have to do any ad, and then I mean, I've been with people who have pulled the goat head headwear really, really fast. So it may be worth it for you to go and farm it. I have spent hours with no luck, so I hope you have more luck. Um, but that is kind of the last set that we have um, available to us to farm as a tank or a heavy armor user. But that... Uh, that combination, I guess, is what I'm looking at. So we have the Chartist's uh, head, chest, and gloves. I've got the weighted greaves, and then I'm wearing the rage boots. Now, again, if it were me, what I might do in the future, if I can stand to farm it again, is I'd probably wear the Goat King hat, Chartist chest, gloves, weighted greaves, or Chartist greaves, doesn't matter. And then the Corrupted Rage uh, boots. Now, you could swap out, like, the Corrupted Rage gloves, maybe, if you wanted an extra stack of freedom um, and a little bit more refreshing. That's totally up to you. I like having the extra refreshing ward because, obviously, as a tank, we're getting smacked around. And when you have four stacks of it, um, it does stack. So it, it is kind of nice to have that um, as well. All right, that is going to do it for this one. So thank you to everyone who is watching today. I do appreciate it when you guys check out the videos. I hope they're really helping you a lot. Um, I know that, again, ward gear can be tricky, especially if you have no idea what's available out there, don't know where to look, don't know what you're even looking for. Um, so hopefully this, uh, this video did help you out figuring out, um, you know, whether you're a tank, medium or heavy armor, uh, hopefully you have some extra options out there for some ancient ward. Uh, we will be doing future videos on the other ward sets. It's just for heavy armor. There's a lot of options out there to pack into one video. So we're splitting it up and trying to kind of go at some of these uh, ward fits uh, separately. But if you did like today's video, please drop it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content, or if you have other content that you'd like to see or are interested in, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, I also do stream throughout the week on Twitch, so please find me over there. We'd love to have you. We like to hang out, uh, primarily play New World, play a few other games every so often, but uh, you're more than welcome to stop by and ask any questions. But that is going to do it for me for this one, so until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you.